Hi, Johan here from Johan's Auto. Today I'm going to teach you or show you or try and make you understand how to do tapper setting on a 3 liter S6 V6 motor. What you're going to need for this are these couple of tools here. A little bit of oil, two 16 uh, millimeter spanners, 5 8 and a feeler gauge. This one I'll be setting at 30-50. Um, it's a standard motor. What you're going to do first, and a lot of people ask me when I tell them to rock five. When you stand in front of the motor, you've got six cylinders. Your firing order will be one, four, two, five, three, six. Um, one is here. So we're going to rock five. Rocking five, I'm going to show you how to do that. If you keep your eye on these two springs, they're going to be coming up and they will meet each other. You'll see the one going down. It's coming up now. Now we're going to get them to where the other one goes down. That one went down. So now I'm coming back until I have them static. That means they're rocking. So they both will be rocking. I'm going to have to go all the way around now because the bolt's coming loose. Then we're going back down again. And it comes back up. I've got to just time it and it's static. There I'm going back. They both will be a bit tight because you just rebuilt this engine. Now when you're setting, you rock five, you set one. So this is where we're starting. Let's add a bit of oil to your rocker. Tap it, whatever they call it. That's fine. Put the engine a bit different. What you're going to do, you're going to knock it on one side and on the other side. This is to get it level. You, you want it level. It was a flat surface and a flat surface sometimes they put worn on the inside so getting it level is actually nice because you push in it one side it's going to bite on the other side or on the other side so i'm just tapping it and you've got to have a feeling it's a feeling i can't teach you you need to feel it but this is about nice i didn't even set this one it was set nice i do set them a bit tight because they are cold I'm going to give it a bit of a nip. And I'll go to the next one. You don't want it too loose and you don't want it too tight. And while you're sitting, you can feel the tension on this adjuster bolt. You don't want it to be a loose bolt, you want it to be tight. So it must turn difficult. That's done. Check this one. A little bit of a tight. In there and get it out. And that's how you set the tap. Now on the firing sequence, I'm gonna go next. The next one I'm gonna set, you got one, you set one, you rocked five. So four will be the next one. So to rock four, to get to four, you're gonna rock three. And there we are, three is rocked, that means I'm gonna set four.
Again, feel the nut. There's a bit of tension on the nut. It doesn't turn easy, so that's quite nice though. Feeling it. Until it starts biting, come a little bit back. It's got to be a free movement, but not too free. Hey, that's nice. That's a nice one. Tighten. If you feel it bites, you can't push it in because it's low on this side. So all I do is I'm going to tap this side and it's going to go. You don't want to tap it too hard. You don't want to force the spring to go down. So you got to watch the spring. If the spring is weak and it's lost the tension, it'll move up and down too easy. Change your springs. That's not a good thing. Like this there. That's nice. Again, it's biting that side. I just tap it on both sides to give it an equal. And that's it. That one's done. I'm just going to move this motor a little bit so I can have more control of oh, it turning it up. So it's one four. So the next one will be two. Two is yeah. We got two. We're going to go to six. But again, I'm going to recap. Rock five, set one. Now, if you go in your firing order, which is inside, yeah, a lot of people ask for the firing order, but it's printed on your intake. One, four, two, five, three, six. So we've done one, we've done four. So we're going to go two, and to rock two. If you, if you get to two, you're going to rock six. And if you do it properly, it'll always be the next one in the sequence, as you saw there. Straight away, they rock. I'm going to give this one a bit of a tighten. It is loose. There you go. Now we're going to set two. Okay, so we're setting number two. Well, we're slightly, it's, it's not a hard tap, it's a slight tap. You want that rocker just to get to the center and be in the middle. So you've got to feel, um, you, you've got to learn how to feel this. It's, I can't teach you that. I can teach you the sequence and show you how to do it, but you've got to learn how to feel it. Get your feeler gauge bottom onto the valve. There's a stem there. So you're going to get the feeler gauge in there. Get it level with the bottom. Make sure it's nice. Now you want this part to go flush between those two parts there. And that'll be your tappet clearance. Now to get that, you've got to tighten. And as I said before, it'll tighten that side and bite or tighten this side and bite. You've got to just slightly tap it and then feel it to get in the center. And don't put the valve down. There we go. One, four, two, five. Now we're going to set five. To set five, we're going to rock one. One is up. And there we go. It's a very finicky thing. You got to really keep your eye on those two valves. I've been doing this for long, so if I'm going too fast, I'm sorry. This side of the engine, always 30-50 is what I'm using. It's inlet and outlet. 30 will be on this side, the 50 will be on that side. Outlet, 
is the one that close to exhaust that's your out it will always be on the out inlet would be the one from the intake it would be the one coming on the inside so small one always on the intake the bigger one on the out if you have a racing cam in mainly they'll be the same setting both sides now this one we have a standard cam so we'll be going standard setting the book says 35 55 I use 3050 on cold setting. That's actually very nice. We'll see it go in there. I'll just gonna tap it just to make it level. And there we go. Done. 1.4253. We're gonna be setting three. I say three, I'm gonna rock four. And if you're doing it right, there should be the very next one to come up and rock. There we go. Tighten it. If you do this in sequence and you do it properly like I'll share on the picture, once you have one full rotation of all the cylinders, you should be done setting your tappet. There we've done, one, four, two, five, three. Now we're gonna do six. Six will be that one there. To do six, we're gonna rock two. Two is this one. And it'll come up next. And we're done. Use a bit of lubrication because you don't want metal biting on metal, but you also don't want to put too much oil on to give you a false feeling. But there you can try and use a fresh feeler gauge. Mine is a bit old, I've done a lot of engines with it, so sometimes you push it in and you can just feel it. That feels nice. So nice, you don't want to get the valve to go down. Nice and in. Bite, no bite in the center, it'll go through. Now, that's all of them set. Now, to make sure you've set all of them, let me get this engine level. Number five will be the next one to rock again. Okay, now, to double check that, number five is rocked properly. You will come to the front of the engine, you will find your keyway. Your keyway will line up, I'll use this line. And that means that your timing is now spot on, your cam timing and such. You can now put your distributor in before doing anything else and that will help you know that that's not 180 degrees out, it will be in at the right place. Best thing to do now is wipe your hands. Always try and be neat and clean. 
and uh, finish your engine. I hope that was helpful. Uh, we'll be posting this video shortly and we'll be posting the sequence of this in a, a format you can read and download for yourself. Thank you for watching. Bye.